Little pig, little pig, let me in. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. The last day of EVO was yesterday, Sunday, so I'm going to do a quick recap. Uh, recap. I know I messed up, I'm gonna leave that in anyways, because that was funny. <laughs> but anyways, it was amazing. In most areas. In other areas, it was kind of... Uh, huh. Um, but we'll get to that later. For now, I'll talk about the amazing bits. Now, I mostly pay attention to Tekken 7 and Super Smash Brothers occasionally. I don't really have anything to say about, uh, Blaze Blue or, um, Guilty Gear, except that Blaze Blue got some new DLC coming soon, which is pretty cool. But, well, Fighter Z was interesting. I did manage to catch a little bit of that, and they announced Cooler is going to be DLC for the game, which means those data mine leaks are probably true. I mean, they were most likely true anyway, since they are data mines after all. Um, but yeah, Cooler is joining the roster of Fighter Z. Nothing else much to say there. And Sonic Fox won, so we had an American player win an Evo tournament. So that's neat. <laughs> and I know I called it Fighter Z instead of Fighters. <laughs> I just don't play it that much. I don't pay much attention to it. I, I mix the title up sometimes. Uh, but anyway, speaking of an American player, let's head over to Tekken 7 where Little Majin was tearing it up, but unfortunately came in third place. We almost had an American winner for Tekken 7 EVO, which would have been absolutely incredible. But um, Lohai ended up winning, which was still pretty cool. Kudans came in second, and JDCR got sent to losers like right at the beginning, which was absolutely interesting. I don't think that's ever happened before. I mean, obviously he's got sent to losers, but not like right then, there. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, um, but anyways. Uh, there was a DLC trailer for Season Pass 2 in Tekken 7 afterwards, that which revealed Ana, Lei, and a bunch of new mechanics for the game, but also, of all things, Negan from The Walking Dead. Now, I've never seen The Walking Dead, so I don't really know what to think, but I just find it very interesting that this particular character, um, it made it into Tekken. Is Walking Dead popular in Japan or something? But yeah, then we head over to Super Smash Brothers. Melee was fine, it was pretty harmless. It went by very quickly compared to previous years, which was good so we can go ahead and get to Tekken 7. Uh, but Leffen won that. He had an extremely greasy face. Those Smash players need to shower. <laughs> Their BO reputation is still, is still um, legitimate. They need to prove it wrong for once. But uh, right before Grand Finals for Melee, uh, Nintendo actually announced that there would be a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct this Wednesday, August 8th, which is going to be very cool. I'm definitely planning on reacting to it if I'm able to, um, and I will theorize more on that tomorrow, hopefully. I'll try to get a video out tomorrow theorizing on what could possibly be revealed then, so I won't go into specifics now, but um, fingers crossed for Heihachi. <laughs> He's my most wanted so far. Um, but here's where the bad part came in. You see, Melee was fine. Smash 4 was not. You had crowds booing at Bayonetta, of course, because they can't get good. Then you had stalling in Grand Finals and just goofing off, not taking things seriously. And I know it's a video game and they're friends and they're supposed to have fun, which is cool and all, but they were pretty much making a joke out of esports and making professional gaming look pretty bad. Not only that, but the Bayonetta player then turned around and gave the crowd the finger when they booed him, so that was not a very mature response to the booing. And yeah, so both the crowd and the players are in the wrong. The Smash community keeps asking to be taken seriously as a fighting game, but then they do stuff like that. Just deal with Bayonetta, she's not that broken, don't boo because you don't know how to fight her. But anyways, we get to Street Fighter, where G and um, Sagat were announced, so that's also pretty cool. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, Tekken 7, Smash 4, Melee, Fighter Z, Street Fighter, and of course those anime games, all their reveals, who won, and just, ooh, Evo was so good this year. Can't wait for next year. Leopold the Brave, out.